Hello, hope everybody is doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a newsletter on Gumroad. The first thing you want to do is create an account on Gumroad if you don't have one already. So you're going to go onto gumroad.com, then you're going to tap on sign up in the top right hand corner, right where you see dashboard on my screen. You can sign up on Gumroad using your Twitter, Facebook, or your Gmail account. There are numerous sign up options. Once you have signed up, you'll be sent a verification code. And once you enter that, you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this. But what I want you to keep in mind is with Gumroad, it is completely free to create content. So you can create newsletters, you can also create courses, you can even sell physical products on Gumroad. The only fee that they charge is a flat 10% fee on anything that you make so that sounds like a very good deal so all you'll need to do once you're signed up and you're on this dashboard you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap right where you see products after tapping on products i want you to go over to the top right hand corner and select new product after you have selected new product you're going to tap in the name box and you can enter the name. For this example, I'll simply call it newsletter. Then scroll down and you're going to select newsletter. After selecting newsletter, you're going to scroll down. And from here, you can choose the price that you would like to sell your newsletter for. Or if you don't want to sell it for any price, you could simply put in zero. For this example, I'll charge $1. And then you can decide whether you'd like to charge that per month every three months, every six months, or every year. You can choose the frequency that you want. Once you have done that, you're going to scroll back up and you're going to tap on Customize in the top right-hand corner. After you have selected Customize, you'll be redirected to this page. And this is basically your cover page for your newsletter. So this is what your customer or your potential subscribers, better yet, will see first. You can see a preview of how it looks on the right hand column right here. And to edit it, all you'll need to do is scroll down. So you could add a description right here. Then you can also see your newsletter URL, which you get for free with Gumroad. Then you're going to scroll down and you could add a cover image. For this example, I'll add a random image. I'll tap on computer files. But what I would recommend you do is that you go onto canva.com, which is another free platform. And from there, you could search for numerous templates. For example, you could search for landing pages and you can see some nice landing pages that you could use right there that you could edit and it will make your newsletter look a lot more professional and appealing. Once you have filled in the preview page right there, you are going to scroll down as there are some other stuff that you are going to need to fill in. For example, you could add product info. After you have added product info, you can also scroll down and add additional details if you want. And you can scroll down if you'd like to add other integrations. For example, Gumroad allows you to integrate Circle and you can also invite customers to your Discord server. Then you can also set up different tiers so you can add different fees and offer different features per tier. You can name the tiers, uh, also add in the description, and then you could scroll down and you can set a price for each tier. And you can scroll down and then you could tap on add tier and add a second or third tier if you want. Also, if you would like to offer a free trial, Let's say you want to offer a one week free trial. You could simply toggle on free trial. Then right where you see one week, I'll leave it as is. So I'll charge customers after the one week. If you'd like to offer a one month free trial, you could simply tap on one month. After you have done that, there are other features that you can also access. For example, you could toggle on members will lose access when their membership ends and you can see the different features right here. You can scroll down and again you can select your default payment frequency. 
Once everything is to your liking, you are going to tap on content from the top menu option. Now that you have tapped on content, this is where you are going to put your newsletter information. You can simply start typing it right here. Or another thing that you could also do is you could go onto Canva. And Canva again, as I said earlier, is completely free. And you could type in newsletter in the search bar. Then you are going to see numerous newsletter templates that you can choose from. Once you have found a template that you like, all you'll need to do is click on it. Keep in mind that the templates that you see with the paid sign or the dollar sign, you will need to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But there are lots of free templates that you can use. So let's say for example, I would like to use this template, newsletter template just for example. And by the way, to customize your template on Canva is quite easy. All you have to do is tap on the section that you would like to edit. Then go over to the left hand menu option if you'd like to add any elements or features. And you can tap on the section and you can change the text to whatever you want. And if it is too small when you select your newsletter, right where you see 75% in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, you could tap right there and you can choose the size that you want. So you could increase it to 100%, 125%, whichever suits you and whichever would make it easier for you to edit and create a stunning newsletter. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now is tap on share. Once you have tapped on share, you're going to scroll down and you could tap on download. After you have tapped on download, you'll tap on download once more. Now that you have downloaded it, you can upload it as your newsletter. Or another thing that you could also do is if you have created, for example, a landing page, you could simply add the landing page and then add this newsletter as a call to action. So for example, you could simply tap on insert image. After you have tapped on insert image, you could insert a random image. Let's say for example sake, I would like to insert an image. Let me do that real quick. I'll tap on insert image. And let's say this was my call to action or my cover page that I'm telling you about. All I'll need to do is tap on open. Once the image has been added, you are going to add your call to action button right below it. So you'll tap right below the image. Then you are going to tap on the link. And I could go back into Canva, tap on share. In the top right hand corner, tap on copy link. After you have tapped on copy link, you'll go back into Gumroad. And you are going to paste it right here. And then from here, I could simply type in, click here. Then tap on add link. Now that I've done that, you can see it right here. So if a customer should visit and type and tap on click link, they'll access my newsletter. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on publish and continue in the top right hand corner. And you can see that it is now live. So you can copy your URL and you can share it on whichever social media platform or blog that you want to share it on. And this will be your newsletter. You can also add tags if you want by scrolling down as you can see right here. So let's say for example, I were to copy the URL. So let's see how it looks and I'll paste it right there, paste and go. So you can see right there, this is how it looks. And then to subscribe, they'll simply tap right here. You can see subscribe, they'll tap right there. Once they have tapped right there, they'll be led to this page. And from here, you'll fill in your email address. Then you'll scroll down and tap on pay. But before going any further or before ending this tutorial, you'll also need to add your payment information. To do that, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on payouts. Then you're going to tap on settings in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on settings, you're going to verify the country that you're located in. And you're going to also verify that you have a valid government ID and also have proof of residency within the country. Then from there, you'll be able to add your PayPal information so that customers can pay via PayPal. 
And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.